A great start to video coughing right into the mic anyway. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a chest infection at the moment, but anyway. I finally got a mic and now we're doing commentary for the YouTube videos. Uh, and we're starting off with one in the Jagdpanzer E100 from the test server again. I'm playing with Sammy. Um, as you can see, young Sammy20. My boy. But, uh... We're going to speed it up here, times four. Now the Jagdpanzer 100 has a lot of armor, a lot of health, a really huge gun, um, but no speed, so I'll be making use of use of the speed up mechanic a lot in this replay. Um, we're shooting mostly HE here because it's test server and we like memes. Um, and the HE actually has... 85 millimeters of penetration and 1,400 alpha damage, which means if I had penned this batch at, half of his health would be gone, but RNG screwed us over, so we only tracked him, but Sammy hits him and so does a bunch of other people, so we get the tracking damage really. Now we think the leopard is spotting us, so we aim for him. Sorry about the bug in the replay system, but... The reticle reload and the reload down the bottom is broken. This is a heat shot now, watch this. Gorilla, about 10 millimeters of armor all the way around. Hits his gun with 420 millimeters of penetration. Ugh. Stressful, man. Gets me. <laughs> this is why 90 teenagers die a year from video game related causes. Um, so we're just, I don't know, there's not much commentating to be done. There's a leopard, he gets killed. So, now we hit that T100 LT for three, two, two thirds of his health, two thirds of his health, I'd say. Um, this thing is like a 20 second reload, which is madness. So, uh, it's very boring. This is the new 30 versus 30 game mode. Um, for all of those who don't play well tanks, which is pretty much all of you. It used to be 15 versus 15, but Wargaming have implemented much bigger maps that do 30 versus 30. And here's an FV4. This is the worst tank in the game. It's blatantly overpowered. And it feels really good to shoot it. Oh god, it does. That's like finding diamonds in Minecraft. That's how it feels. Even now, just watching the replay, it gives me that tingling feeling in my toes. So I'm reversing because I want to shoot the Type 5. And I have HE loaded. And I see that he's down on lower health. So I could, like, kill him technically. But he gets killed by the team. So that's that. And our south, we're beginning to lose. So... We swing the old, the girl over, and we try to aim for this MX M4 54 in the center, the new French 210 heavy tank. Um, I think we have HE loaded. I can't be sure because the the bug. We try to go for the bat chat, but no. So right now, Sammy says, look, we'll push in here, and we'll shoot them as they go after our FE4. So he wants to be here. As uh, these lads go down here and he wants to shoot them in the side as they go for this guy. But I think moving in here is way too exposed because there could be anything along here. And especially back here. So I say you can move up and I'll cover you. So he's moving up and I'm moving up. Turns out I get the better position because... Um, you'll see. So there's a few tanks crossing in front of us now. So we just have side shots. I've got HE loaded, and I slam one into the side of the STRVB, STRV 103B. And it's very unfortunate that I didn't pen that, actually, um, because he only has, like, 30 millimeters of side armor, and I have 65 millimeters of pen with the HE. 85, actually. Actually, we really should have, but it might have hit his tracks or something. But that's all right, 500 damage anyway. Now, you can see Sammy has lost 1,000 hit points, and there goes another 500 so he's getting killed 
and he'll die any second now. There he is. Bye, Sammy. So, this type 5. Not so good from the side, are you, bud? Now, I'm thinking that the Egg Panzer E100 and there is like a 62A or something behind him. I'm thinking they're going to continue pushing. So, I am going to stay here and aim for them. So I'm reloading now, I could hear the sounds. So I'm setting up my ambush. It's a very campy tank, the Jagdpanzer E100. Very campy. I was pinging the Leopard um, to shoot the Jagdpanzer E100. Now the FV four oh five kills the WZ one 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 five A and I um I didn't go after him because I saw that we had these two tanks and it was only one other tank, so you know like two V one, two tanks are gonna win. So if they had died it would have been a very, very different game. So this is where I decided to nearly kill myself. Because uh, this tank like weighs over a hundred tons, so I could have I could have ended badly. I bet you all the crew members have concussion now. But anyway, I'll move this over there, and uh, we got AP loaded, and we're going after this Jaeger now. Oh yeah, the Jaeger Panzer One Hundred nickname is uh, the Jaeger, so that's what I'm gonna call it from now on, I suppose. And uh, my logic here is that, once again, the people behind me, the FE405 and the Object 263, are going to suppress the WZ1115A. But that doesn't happen, and he shoots me in the back. And now I see the T62A on really low health, and I think, yeah, if I get um, if I land, hit him with a HE, he'll be dead. And then the A guru is here. So I slap him one on the side of his turret. And the FV405, shout out to this dude. Um, Alien, Alan505, are you? Played very well. And then Ari kills the T62A. I was loading a HE shot to put into his turret there anyway. So, uh, I reckon I would have won that fight, but I probably would have taken one shot. And now we're moving out. We've lost the north, the mid is kind of weird, but we have the south, so we're going to push that side. And then the arty gets spotted, and I have HE loaded. And all I'm thinking is, oh yeah, oh, revenge. So I shotgun him, bam. That's another tank that gives you the finding diamonds in Minecraft feeling when you kill it. The arty, all arty. So I get... Double tracks here and stunned, but I push on. Alrighty hits him and stuns him, which means I can slap him another one. He gets another penetrating shot at me, which is unfortunate, but then Alrighty reloads and finishes him off. And then there Alrighty reloads and hits me again. But I have a repair crew on this, so the repairs are fast enough. And I see the FV405 in the center. And I go to shoot him. I want to shoot him in the back. And because he's so... He only has 14 millimeters of turret armor. I was going to load um, high explosive. To get that full 1400 damage. But... I didn't want to load it instead of the shot I have loaded right now. Because he might like run away. And then I won't get to shoot him at all. Like I'd rather have the, seven, uh, the 1100 alpha of the heat. Rather than the 1000... Rather than no damage at all. So I sit up here. Expecting him to get spotted by the 263. Um, and I was going to shoot him. More camping. Anyone got any marshmallows? <laughs> Claws put the tent back in the tank. Ah, and you see me in the chat, Spot Suka. You gotta talk Russian on the test server, or else no one will understand you. That's how it works. Um, 
And then as soon as I start moving, the T-62A decides to cross the bridge. And I get a very lucky shot here. Hit him right in the side of the turret for pretty much all his health. Which means the Leopard can finish them off. In a few seconds. And now I've got a uh, HE loaded. And I'm going to come up behind this FV. And this will be the second FV this game that I get to HE. Oh god, that feels good. Oh. That dude actually, the one I just killed, did 12,000 damage this game. Which was like, that's pretty incredible.